Vibrio cholera is a gram-negative, curved, comma-shaped rod bacteria <laughs> with a single flagellum that causes high motility and it serves as a vir virulence factor. The Vibrio cholera bacteria produces an AB binary exotoxin that has two distinct toxin components, A and B. The A portion has enzymatic activity that contributes to its toxicity, and the B portion will bind to the host receptor, the ligand binding portion. Because the Vibrio cholera bacteria cell cannot enter the lumen of the small intestine itself, it has to produce the AB binary exotoxin to bind to the ganglioside GM1 host receptor on enterocytes of the lumen of the small intestine. Once bound to the GM1 receptor, the AB toxin is endocytosed within clathrin coated pits. Once the vesicle is formed, it proceeds through the Golgi apparatus onto the ER, where the pH drops, which causes the A and B subunits to separate. The compartment of uncoupling of receptor and ligand, otherwise known as curl, recycles the beta subunit which is attached to the GM1 receptor and the active portion of the toxin. A can exert its effect on its target. The A portion of the toxin forms a complex with ADP ribosylation factors, which catalyzes the ADP ribosylation of G-alpha-S, which is a component of the G protein. The addition of NAD plus ADP ribose covalently modifies a G protein. The presence of ADP ribose prevents GTP hydrolysis and therefore produces an active G protein which binds and stimulates adenylate cyclase. Adenylate cyclase converts ATP to a cyclic AMP and a pyrophosphate. The production of cyclic AMP activates protein kinase A, then phosphorylates cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator, otherwise known as CFTR, leading to chloride ion secretion. With an increased supply of cyclic AMP, Chloride ions are being pumped out of the cells, causing water to follow the ions down the concentration gradient. The increased concentration of cyclic AMP inhibits the function of the regulator of G-protein signaling, otherwise known as RGS, which causes a constant production of cyclic AMP. This causes chlorine ions, along with H2O, to constantly flow out of the cell. Loss of water in the cells causes water from interstitial fluid to leave. Water from interstitial fluid is replaced by water from the blood. Water is constantly moving down its concentration gradient. Cholera leads to severe dehydration due to the loss of the control of the chloride pump. Symptoms of cholera are commonly seen within two to three days after consumption. These include vomiting, cramps, rapid dehydration, intravascular volume depletion, severe metabolic acidosis, and cardiac and renal failure.